Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 7 and today we're taking a look at the 1975 Fiat X19. Now this car was produced from 1972 to 1982 with 140,500 being made. It was designed by Bertone who uh, eventually carried on production once Fiat ceased production in 1982 and Bertone carried on from 1982 to 1989 producing it making uh, around 19,500 of them. So uh, yeah really rather quite a common car despite the fact that it's a two seat sports uh, car with a Targa roof, rear wheel drive and a mid engine layout so uh, yeah this is one of those unusual vehicles on this game that I have been wanting to review especially since I announced that I was coming back to Forza Motorsport 7 and uh, yeah doing so has given me uh, the chance to review this really great car which is easily one of my favourites on this game and one of those reasons is because it's so cleverly uh, packaged it's got a transverse engine and gearbox, both of which come from the uh, 128 family car, and uh, that means it's able to maximise its uh, small wheelbase as well as give a uh, balanced handling. So, uh, yeah, talking about space, you've got a uh, really rather spacious front boot, uh, which also can take in the uh, lightweight roof once you take it off, but I imagine there'll still be plenty of space in the front for something else if you want to but if you don't want to put it in any shopping or anything in with the uh, roof you can also put it in the back so it's got two boots uh, which are really rather spacious and uh, yeah easy to get into and uh, yeah because it's got a transverse engine and gearbox it means that most of the components are situated here under the uh, rear mounted boot lid so uh, rear mounted bonnet sorry so uh, yeah now granted it's not got the most power at all in the world because it's only got a 1.3 litre inline 4 engine producing a mere 61 horsepower and 67 pounds feet of torque but even that doesn't bother, uh, bother me because another thing I love about this car is the styling styled by obviously Bertone and uh, yeah I love the shape of it I've always liked the wedges from sp certain sports cars in the 70s and 80s and uh, yeah this is easily one of the best also has pop up headlights which are always a good thing and uh, yeah I just love the shape of it It's basically a mini Ferrari if you want to look at it like that and despite the fact it is quite a small car they've got the proportions bang on it doesn't look oddly shaped just because it's small so uh, yeah it's got all of that bang on and uh, yeah to uh, help with the balance handling which has obviously like I said been helped by the transverse engine and gearbox being in the middle it's also got independent suspension front and rear of the McPherson's type and it's also got disc brakes all around so it can stop really well aiding the uh, braking is also the fact it only weighs 2,210 pounds which is yeah incredibly lightweight and uh, yeah means that even though it does only have 61 horsepower it's not the slowest thing in the world but it's yeah hardly the quickest either it's also got a 4 speed manual there was eventually a 5 speed manual available in the late 70s with a slightly bigger engine but yeah I do really rather like this car and uh, yeah like I said easily one of my favourite cars on the game especially from the 70s as I feel like there, there aren't enough weirder less well known cars like this on this game from the 70s I mean we've got the whole uh, like British Leyland vehicles that are just completely ignored so uh, yeah really wish we had more 70s cars which is something I'm hoping for in the future in the next Forza Motorsport game or even the next Forza Horizon game and uh, yeah the name X19 comes from the production co uh, the production code that it was given when it was being designed and it just stuck with the name and uh, yeah so uh, yeah it doesn't really mean anything in the general terms of the car it doesn't designate the engine displacement or anything like that it's just basically the uh, production code that it had when it was being uh, designed so uh, yeah nonetheless let's get out onto the track and see what this little sports car can do right so we're at the top gear track for a couple of laps just to see what this little thing can do and uh, yeah, when I meant production code earlier in the X19 name, I meant prototype code. I do apologise for that. But nonetheless, yeah, this yeah is easily, like I said, one of my favourite cars. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of sporting potential. Obviously, it's mid-engine and rear-wheel drive. But the engine itself, even though it's not the most powerful thing in the world or whatever, is an engine that was designed by a Ferrari engine designer. So yeah, it's got a little bit of sporting potential behind it. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, because of the way it's been packaged, how light it is, the, those disc brakes, and uh, yeah, because it's been made to, you know, balance the handling. It's a pretty damn good car to drive as well. It's a, it's not just some light, fluffy, uh, you know, runabout. It's 
proper decent sports car. Now granted, the suspension as you can see is quite soft, but then again it's going to be. It's a mass produced car, it's not like a, a really rather rare Ferrari or, some, or something that's even made for the track. So yeah, the suspension is a little bit soft and uh, because it is a sh short wheelbase, it can get away from you at times. I know I said it's been made to have balance handling, but I doubt they were ever expecting anyone to be taking it, you know, to really rather high speeds. So uh, yeah, there are times that it can snap on you with some oversteer, but that's really when you are really rather pushing it well beyond its actual means. And uh, yeah, uh, even though the acceleration isn't great, not to 60, 12.542 seconds. To 169.852 seconds and only having a top speed of 102. I can imagine this out on the open road, on you know, your B roads or your uh, you know, your normal town roads. It'd be really rather fun to drive, and uh, yeah, certainly will turn heads because yeah, there's really nothing that's like this today, and certainly wasn't much like this at the kind of price that it was back in the 70s either. Because yeah, to help obviously keep prices down they uh, use the 128's engine and gearbox which I'm perfectly fine with because you know that means it's more you know usable on a day to day basis because it's got an engine that's mass produced but it also means that it keeps it cheap as well so yeah it's basically a mini Ferrari in all intents and purposes which I am perfectly fine with and all other people will be like well, if a mini Ferrari that's just a lesser version of a Ferrari well not really because Ferrari themselves weren't exactly known for making all of the great cars back in even the 70s or even the 60s. The Dino, for instance, I hate, especially the version that's on this game. And this is a far better sports car than that will ever be, even though this has far less power from a sm far smaller engine. That car is ugly. It's got a weak engine that I just don't like in that car. And uh, yeah, just isn't any fun to drive, whereas it is fun to drive. It has a nice peppy little engine really rather quite lightweight and uh, yeah just feels very pure it doesn't feel like it's you know tried to cater to all people at all times even didn't bother with you know making it big enough for taller people it's meant for smaller people Bertone eventually did increase the footwell size so taller people could get in it but Fit weren't really bothered about that they were just designing a car that they wanted to be in a specific way and I really admire that most car companies these days with a two-seater sports car try to stick two seats in the back even if they're blatantly unusable and Fiat didn't bother with that and I really do enjoy that and the fact it's practical in its own right you've got two boots you got a, and it's also versatile you can take the uh, top off and make it convertible it's also really good as well so uh, yeah cracking vehicle and uh, yeah it's a shame that Fiat don't make something that's quite like this obviously they have the uh, their 124 Spider which is still a really rather decent sports car, but I would really like them to make a, a mid-engine rear-wheel drive sports car like this, because, yeah, not enough car companies do a lightweight, cheap sports car anymore, and, uh, yeah, especially in terms of mid-engine and rear-wheel drive layout. So, yeah, would love to see a return to this kind of car, because plenty of cars these days are small and lightweight, so why don't we have a small, lightweight sports car anymore that's mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and a little bit quick? just doesn't makes sense to me it just seems like that's a market that's untapped but I'm glad Fiat did make this car and I'm really glad that it's in this game and I do hope it's in future Forza games because unfortunately it's not in Forza Horizon 4 but I will hopefully hopefully it's going to be in the next Forza Motorsport game so uh, yeah we can hopefully do more with it nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye